Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a look inspired by Aquarius. Aquarius is known as the water bearer sign and it is currently Aquarius time. This is the second makeup look that I am doing for my birth signs, zodiac, horoscope, <laughs> makeup series. It kind of ended up looking more like a mermaid look, <laughs> but um, I tried to make the eye shape like a water droplet and the cheeks like waves. And then of course the lips are watery, you know, because Aquarius. And for the eyeliner, I also included the Aquarius symbol. My hair, I attempted, I attempted to make waves, but uh, it just fell flat completely. So all of my Aquarius friends out there, this one's for you. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I am so sorry in advance for my tiredness in this video. I was just having just such a tired day. I don't know what it was. I was just pooped. So sorry in advance. <laughs> but anyways, I'm starting off with this Lorac behind the scenes eye primer and setting it with this Wet n Wild Creme Brulee single eyeshadow. Then taking this gorgeous blue ColourPop Super Shock shadow in Coconut, I'm going to apply it all over my lids. To blend out the harsh edges and the crease, I'm taking the colors Gonzo and Chaos from my Urban Decay Electric Palette. Next, taking my very old but very loved Galaxy Chic Palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm dipping into the color Uranus and popping that right in the center of my eyelid almost creating a halo eye effect. For my inner corner highlight, I am using the color Meteor, and I'm also dragging this color into the inner third of my lower lash line to open up my eyes more. Then taking this beautiful sapphire blue color called Neptune, I'm applying it in the outer crease for more dimension. For the lower lash line, I'm going in with Coconut from ColourPop, and then back in with the Neptune shadow. And I'm trying to create a teardrop shape as you see me doing here. Next, for my brow bone highlight, I'm using Meteor. Then jumping into the Lorac Pro 2 palette, I'm taking the color Navy to fill in my brows. And then I'm going in with this Pure Minerals Dual Ended Liner in Bora Bora and I'm giving the brows a more rounded shape. To lighten my brows a bit, I went in with the color Earth from the Galaxy Chic palette. I of course wanted to add some glitter, so I'm lining my eyes with this Silver NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. And for the wing of the liner, I am drawing a wave to resemble the symbol of Aquarius. And then, under the silver liner, I went in with the NYX Vinyl Black Liquid Liner and shadowed the silver liner so that the silver liner would stand out more. Now I'm just curling my lashes and applying this CoverGirl Liquiline Blast Blue Liner in my waterline. Unfortunately, it didn't say what color it was, but it's the blue one. And for my lashes, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. With a Q-tip dipped in makeup remover, I am just cleaning up any fallout and tidying up the look a bit. To mimic reflecting water, I am going in with this Angel Dust Blue Loose Glitter. And I'm just applying a little on the center of the eyelid with the NYX Glitter Primer. For primer, I am first going to use the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer and then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer just on the areas I want to really highlight. 
Then for foundation, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in Warm Beige. And for concealer, I went in with my trusty Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. To set down the concealer, I am using the Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. And for the rest of my face, I'm using the Physician's Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. Next, to contour my face, I went back in to the Electric Palette and used Gonzo in Chaos. And then for highlight, I used the shadow Uranus from the Galaxy Chic palette. When contouring the cheeks, I created a curved shape to resemble waves. For the lips, I went back in with the Pure Minerals liner in Bora Bora and filled in my lips completely. And then I applied the shadow Neptune on top for a more vibrant color. And then right in the center of the lips, I applied the color Uranus for more dimension. For setting my face, I used a combination of the Cover FX Illuminating Spray and the Project Beauty Setting Spray. And I completely forgot to add lashes, so I'm using these ones from Wet n Wild. And I applied this Maybelline Shine Shot Gloss to my lips. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! So, if you guys are interested in getting how... So, if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on walking. Walking. <laughs> what?